Hey guys, it's Aaron. So I had some questions on another video about auto text. We kind of glazed over it. You can add auto text any way you add text, but that's not a real great explanation of what auto text is. Auto text is auto text. There we go. So we can dive a little deeper with that today. I'm going to take a look at adding auto text to drawing in layout. Okay, so like I said, auto text is just basically super lightweight code that represents other text. So let's add some. So auto text itself is not a thing. It has to be added as part of other text. So I have this real simple model. All it's got is a model window here. I'm just going to grab a text box and I'm going to come down here and just put this text box down at the bottom. All right, so that text box opens up. I'm here, I can start typing anything I want. Um, or I can come up here and I can go to text and I can say insert auto text. When I hover over insert auto text, it shows me all of the auto text that I already have created. This is the default block of auto text. Now what this is gonna do is initially, it's just gonna put that, so if I click on address right here, it just puts address inside of these brackets. If I click out of this field, so if I come click over here, that changes. If I double click, come back in, it goes back to address. See that? So what happens is this text is automatically replaced with some other text. And let's look at what that some other text is. If I go up to file and I hit document setup, the first tab here is auto text. And what this is, this is super simple. This is basically like a find and replace. Any place that I have this address inside these caret brackets or arrow brackets or sharp pointy brackets, I don't know what the actual names are, it's going to replace it with this text right here. Any place I have author inside brackets, it's going to put my name. So I'd, I don't actually have to, so I can come over here and if I wanted to put the author tag here, I could go to text, insert, author, or I can actually just come type it. So I can put, I do have to type it correctly. And if I click out of that box, then my name shows up. So super, super, I mean, basically that's auto text. So I'm going to come over here on this side and I'm going to put another little box here. And this one I'm going to put, um, let's see, let's put in the page number. And then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to put in the page name. So there are two different things. If I look over here in my pages, I have page one, two, and three. My first page is also called the cover. So if I click out of this, it's going to say one cover. I don't have to use te auto text on its own like this. So I could actually come in here and I could put in something like page colon space and then it's gonna actually put that in it. So it can, I can have a text box, it's a combination of regular text and auto text. So you may have noticed when I went to text, I had this option for customize auto text. If I click that, it takes me right back to my document setup, same spot I got to under file, but down here at the bottom, I have this add, remove, and duplicate. So I'm gonna make a brand new tag. I'm gonna click right here, and what do I want to do? So my, my automatic ones that are automatically keyed to specific information are right here. So the file name, the page name, the date created, modified, published, all that is right here. Any other text qual call is called custom text. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a custom text and I'm just gonna call this, um, I'll put it in my bracket, state. And then what do I want to put for my state? Uh, right now, let's go in here and I'll put Illinois. And close. Now I'm gonna come in here, put some text in. And I will put state period and I'll click out of here. So now this starts to show the power of auto text because what I can do is I can come in here. If I want to change what this block of text says, I actually go into my document setup and change from state to Colorado. Ooh, and look at that. Now, 
that's cool. That's good. Um, but how do we get more out of that? Well, let's take a look at something else. So this auto text works any text I put on the screen. So if I have something like here, I have a text file. So this is just a block of text and I'm going to insert this. So I'm going to, I'm going to come over here, file insert, and I'm going to grab that text block, open it and look what happens. All that text shows up automatically. And guess what? If I double click in here, look at all this auto text. Series notes created by author for use in file name. Created on date created at address to be built in state. So all this stuff was put in as text. So I could have a generic text block when I drop it in and have it automatically generate information based on the model. Now something that's important here, watch this one right here. So file name, when I click outside of there, it comes up with text drawing dot layout. The file name is the file name of the file I'm working on in layout, not necessarily the model that I have in here. So you can see in here, if I click on this, it tells me this is called sort of a house dot SKP. Remember, you can have dozens of different SKP files, even just on a single page in layout. So it's not referencing this file over here. It's referencing the file that it is in. So something to note that if you do use that file name callout, you're calling out the layout file and not necessarily the SKP file that's displayed in it. I think that covers everything that I can think of for auto text. Um, it's one of those things that if you haven't done it, you haven't used it, it can be kind of confusing and maybe even a little intimidating, but you see, once you actually get in there, it's really very simple. And once you start using and implementing those text tags and things like title bars or text blocks, or even in spreadsheets, it can automatically update data without you having to go edit that information on every single job you start. If you like that, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified in each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. This very video was only created because a viewer like you asked for it. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.